Hi, I'm James C. Williamson. I'm the producer of Fried Barry. Hi, my name is Ryan Kruger. I'm the director and writer from Fried Barry. What is the point within your guys' discussions in this movie and your creative process that you decide on the character's fate? I feel like that was always from the beginning. Yeah, you yeah. always had an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, because like, um, you know, this character goes through such an in interesting journey. It's like almost, you know, in the first sort of 20 minutes of the movie, you think like, oh, this is a bad guy. You know, this is the story of like an anti-hero. Yeah. But then by the end of the movie, you just absolutely yeah. fall in love with him and yeah. you feel this like deep compassion and yeah. empathy with him yeah, you know, it, when he it, finally... It was weird because as we as we were going on, I said the movie was building, but like James said, we, we kind of always knew where it was going to end, but it was just filling in the gaps and building the story and the feelings and the heart of the movie ar around it as, as, as we went. Nice. So, that being said, ballpark it for me percentage-wise, uh, how much of it do you feel like you had to adjust based on what you were shooting and how much of it didn't ever change? Uh, I, th well, I, I think as, as we were going... The ideas that we get, we were getting were pretty, pretty solid, but there was still that freedom of the improv. I mean, people don't normally make movies the way right. the way we're doing it, so <laughs> it was almost like, you know, it's like somebody getting the script and going, right, fuck that. We kind of know what it's about. Um, we're gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna fucking make it. Yeah, and then we're like, cool, point the camera over there, we'll set up the lights, and um, we'll do it. Gary, shut the fuck up and get, do that. You know, so I mean. The, there was there was so much there was so much creativity on this movie from everybody. It was so collaborative that there were so many things just in the moment where we where we were doing. So yeah, it's, it's like, hard to say a percentage or anything like that because it was so spontaneous and it was like I said, I wrote six pieces of dialogue for six actors that I really loved and really liked, and I was like, cool, I, I want some some cool dialogue here or something, you know? I mean, sometimes we had, like, a PA who would be like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if, like, you know, Gary did this in the scene? We were like, fuck yeah, let's put it in there. Yeah. And then it ends up being, you know, one of the greatest moments in the movie. Yeah. Did you guys ever, did it ever adjust in the editing process, or was it always on set where the creativity flow that you felt like the most adjustments were made? A lot of them, you see, I shoot for the edit. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I shoot for the edit. So, so you I had know, the idea of yeah. where it was going to Absol go. Absolutely. But still at the same time, in post, you know, I've got 95%, 98% of what I want. But you have to craft that performance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then in post, there's little things, uh, just with either music or sound or feeling, that will give you a different feeling. Like, I remember the, the scene in the, with Gary, you know, he goes home with the girl from the club. And, you know, before we had the music there, and it's quite near the start of the movie, I was just like... Once the music's in here, James, it's gonna it's gonna completely feel totally different, and we're gonna think that he's a bad guy just because of the music, because we don't know who he is, you know. So it's it's little stuff like that that it was the, it's the same scene, it just changed with the feeling because of the music, and which gave more depth to the to the character and the film. And there are just certain moments that you can only create in the edit, like certain yeah. like comic timing moments, yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. like certain moments of feeling, and you know, it's kind of like we. When we were shooting us on set, we were like, "Oh yeah, no, this is this, this is definitely going to work." But then, when you're working in the edit, there's like you know you're working with little you know little, tiny little pieces, moments and stuff you know, yeah. to, to, to to make it all come together. Nice. So, I, I I think this question I'm really going to be excited to hear you guys answer. Give me one particular character in which you fell in love with that you never expected to ever be a part of this film that you decided to make a bigger part because you fell in love with them or... Okay, before you answer, I think we should say it at the same time. Yeah. One. Wait, wait, wait. are we going to say the actor's name or the character's, the character's name? Okay. Okay, well, it sounds like you're going to say something different now because the end of his sentence. Uh, uh, I'm not so, sure okay, well, okay, well, okay, well, it might be different. <laughs> it's a very small role, but let's see. Let's see. Okay. We'll say it at, we'll yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Okay, on three. What? One, two, two three. three. Baby, Baby Barry. Barry. <laughs> so... Yeah. so, so uh, so what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you fell in love with Baby Barry. Yeah, obviously. and I mean, it, it was... How did his role expand? Um, 
I don't, so, I don't know if we can tell you that. I don't want to okay, ruin the movie okay, for okay, you okay, as well, okay. but I'll try explain it with, without without saying too much. Do like a, Maybe do like a spoiler version and like a non-spoiler version. Yeah, no, I just don't want him to know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell me, so, don't tell me. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so I, I'll kind of talk about it, but I won't give anything away. So... Uh, a certain thing happens in the movie. <laughs> well, let's say what. Well, well, let's say there's a yeah. No, you, okay. You so go, there's, so, go, the, so there's a certain there's a certain thing that happens in the movie that a, uh, a very small character comes into it, and you kind of not that you don't think anything of it. You're like really shocked and surprised, and it was only after that scene later on when we when we're making the film I said James, you know it would be great if we brought back this character but the character is just completely changed, but it's the same character. <laughs> it sounds very like yeah, 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 small okay. what I'm telling you now, but you'll understand when you watch it. And, and, and it was just a character that we, we both fell in love with and he was just such a cool character. It's so random and, and it's so crazy. And the actor that plays this character yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, he's and, so good. Uh, <laughs> and I think he had a, a, hell of, a hell of a lot of fun doing this character I, we, we could see it yeah we, yeah, yeah we could see when it we were, as when we were shooting the scene where, yeah. where like this character has this yeah. big moment we yeah. were crying yeah oh, no, and we were, we, were, we, 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 we were we were crying, crying. it the, was so the amount hilarious. of times that we there was a few shots that we couldn't even use because we were just because laughing like, we couldn't stop laughing if you watch the rushes you can just see like he, he would like turn around and say his lines and you just see the camera just start <laughs> shaking <laughs> yeah so that being said was there anybody, any actor that came onto the set with, where you had an idea of what their character was and they completely 180'd it or changed oh, yeah. it? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can talk about Johnny and then I'll so, talk about... So originally we had um, another actor in mind for the role of... Uh, his character's called Daddy. So he's kind of like the villain of the film. Um, and um, this actor is, uh, he, he's quite a big South African actor and um, he's kind of known for his like very aggressive, rough presence. And, you know, we had him in mind when we like kind of, you know, Ryan kind of wrote the role for him. Um, and I kind of knew how, I kind of knew what decisions he would have made as the, for this character. Yeah, um, but, then, but then we ended up getting another actor uh, Jonathan Pienaar to play the role and you know Ryan like really said this guy was amazing like I'd never worked with him before and then he you know from the first take the way that he played this character it wasn't this big aggressive like oh, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. it was just this like you know the subtle slimy yeah. like creepy and he just brought like, so, he just brought he just brought something else something else the other character that uh, that I had in mind for a certain role was uh, Sean Cameron Michael. So Sean Cameron Michael, a uh, very well respected South African actor and his role is in this uh, mental institute in the movie. So in the Ryan Kruger universe of other stuff that I shot, he played a, a time traveler in this mental institute in this other film. And the other character that was in the in the, in the film, short, actually. have you seen? It? Okay, <laughs> so those, so I brought those two characters back nice. in this film. Same characters, same names. It was in that like same universe. So I thought, uh, so even even like as the movie developed, and I was like, oh, I would love to shoot. I've always wanted to shoot like a mental institute, asylum type of place. And I was like, cool. And Sean, I really want to get you in the movie. So I want to bring you back. As uh, um, uh, Ronald and uh, Graham Clark as La uh, Lawrence, and bring the, these two characters back as the same characters. So, so that was really cool just to see that play out. And and you know, Sean's character, for his, his character is so is so good. He got so much depth in that scene and. Yeah, he was awesome. He was, just so, he was just so good. So tell everybody where they can find out more about Fried Berry. Where can people go? Um, so guys, if you want to learn more about Fried Berry, you can go to friedberry.com. You can follow at Fried Berry on Instagram. You can follow at a Ryan Kruger thing on Instagram or just look, a, look us up on Facebook.